Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalisa and this is Homemade Sunshine. So I have another good old fashioned thrift haul for you guys. Um, I haven't done a lot of these recently because I've not been doing a lot of thrifting. It's been, and I'm noticing other people in other parts of the country are saying the same thing, that it's been kind of like slim pickings. I don't know if people are just not donating as much or what, but we had a really big, awesome sale um, this week. And then I've got a couple of things that I picked up earlier in the month thrifting, but they weren't really enough to like just do a whole video on that one shopping trip because it was just a couple of little things here and there. So we'll start with the little things first and move on to the big haul. So the little things are actually a little bit more random. So that is actually where we will start. So first, a home good is this beautiful vintage painting which I got for 50 cents from the thrift store where basically everything's 50 cents. They don't charge per item most of the time. I usually just total how much they charged me and then divide it by, you know, the number of pieces that I got. So it's usually around 50, 52, somewhere around there. So it's got a few little um, spots from age on it, but I think it just gives it more character. I just love it. It looks so calming and serene. And you know, I am a big fan of this. I love original artwork. You guys know I thrift a lot of original artwork and I'm just lucky that I have a thrift store that sells it very inexpensively when they get it in. Next, um, this is already hung up because I've had it for a hot minute, but I did thrift it in this past month, is this beautiful Eddie Bauer sleeveless button down shirt. It's one of those wrinkle resistant ones and the color's not showing up super great on here, but it is a nice light green with a beautiful white um, pattern to it. It's more vibrant in person, but is really washed out on camera. And it looks so good with a white denim skirt. Absolutely lovely. My mom thrifted these for me recently, and I think she paid $8, but I might have to correct myself on that. I'm not sure. The sleeveless top was 50 cents in case I didn't say that. But um, I will double check with her and I'll insert here if it's um, something else but she thrifted me some practically brand new Chacos sandals. I have a pair of black Chacos that I got at a yard sale as a teenager, which I am 25 and I probably got those when I was 16 or 17. So, you know, eight or nine years, I'm still wearing them. So I love Chacos. I've never had this style before, but they, I mean, look at those soles. These are basically brand new. I think she paid eight or 10 for them. so. Love these, love the purple. Mine are just a plain black that I have normally. And then another 50 cent find. I'll have to stand up to try to show this, but it's a shower curtain. And I looked up the brand. Let me show it to you first really quick. Look at all these fishes. So once again, it's a little bit more vibrant in person. Let me see if I can try to hold it up so you can see the bottom. With all this beautiful coral and funky fishes. I thought they were super cute. And this is only 50 cents, like I said. This is still being sold online and I think it's like an $80 shower curtain. I didn't even realize that people bought $80 shower curtains. I honestly thought this was just like a Walmart shower curtain and I was like, oh, that's pretty. You know, I, I'm one of those people who loves shower curtains and I was like, oh, that's fun. I like all the fishes, that'd be fun for summer. And then I was like, oh, it's actually very expensive. So total surprise and shock there. So that's a couple of little things that I got interspersed earlier in the month. Like I said, it wasn't enough to do a haul just dedicated to that. But this week, one of my favorite thrift stores did a bag sale where it was fill a bag for $5 because they're trying to get rid of a lot of their winter coats and things like that um, before they reset the store for spring, summer because they don't put stuff like bathing suits out all year long. I know some thrift stores hold stuff back and some don't, but it was fill it back for $5, except coats were gonna be a dollar, which because which I thought was very nice because they're just filling grocery bags and one big coat's gonna fill the whole bag and they only charge $2.50 for them usually anyways. So, or $3, $2.50 or three, I can't remember. But anyways, this was super awesome. My mom and I went together. So on average, I paid 50 cents an item for all of these items because we put our stuff together and paid together. So. It is really awesome. There's actually some stuff that I can wear now, which is really nice, but a lot of it I will be wearing come winter time. So first thing is first, 
this beautiful sweater, which I got to look what the brand is, a Banana Republic outlet, which this one is a medium, just to, I just share that to say, sometimes you need to try things on outside of your normal size range, because this is so lovely. It's this beautiful cable knit. All I have to do is cuff the sleeves a little bit, which it looks perfectly fine like that, but it's got that nice oversized look on. And there's nothing I love more than like a chunky cable knit ivory or white sweater. So very excited for this. And I feel like knits are one of those things that they get older faster than some of the other things that you thrift. I had to get rid of a lot of sweaters this year because they were just getting kind of tattered. So very excited for that one. And in the same vein as sweaters, this is a Talbot's Vintage Small Petite, which I'm not petite. Um, I'm almost 5'6", so I'm not um, in the petite size section. But this is wonderful as a cropped sweater with high-waisted jeans or over a dress or tucked into a skirt for winter. It is this beautiful emerald green color, which I think is very good for my coloring personally for winter. And it's nice and chunky. So nice vintage tag Talbots. Very excited for that. I had another sweater very similar to that and it got ruined this year, which is one of the reasons I love to thrift because I didn't pay much for that first sweater. I didn't pay much for this one. So if it, something happens to it, it's no big deal. You know, I'll find something else eventually. Next, we've got a few scarves. So of course, little scarves are very cheap to put in a fill -a bag sale. So first, all of these are vintage, by the way, is this beautiful orange and blue floral pattern. Perfect for spring. I'll put that in closer so you can kind of see. It's just lovely. I love a good head scarf. Um, it's nice for a bad hair day to cover it up. Oh, and here's the little tag. It's one of those um, water resistant made in Japan. And I washed all of these. So if you're worried about getting these um, when you're at a thrift store, I've, all, I've never had a problem washing these old scarves. These are not silk either, so I don't have that to worry about, but I've never had a problem laundering those. I just don't put them in the dryer. And then this, the color is so vibrant with these red poppies on this bright blue background and this beautiful, just dense floral at the top. This one did not have any tags on it, but I just love the colors in this. I'd love a shirt made in this, <laughs> in this type of uh, pattern. I just thought it was absolutely lovely. I love vibrant colors. I love vibrant florals. I've got vibrant floral pants on today. So very cute. And this I say is, I don't know, maybe like seventies style with these vibrant orange, red, pink, and yellow kind of psychedelic florals. I don't know, kind of 1970s. I thought this was absolutely amazing. There was one other scarf I wish I could have gotten, but it was so tattered. It was vintage Avon, which was super cool um, to be able to find that, but it was sadly more than I could save, but those are my three sweet little scarves. Um, oh, I did miss out on this. I got this earlier in the month for 50 cents. Um, this is Grace Not Perfection, Embracing Simplicity, Celebrating Joy. It's like a workbook devotional. Um, so it's actually never been used or written in. I don't even think the person who got this ever even opened it because of the spine. But I forgot to mention I got this earlier in the month. So this is normally $17 and I got it for 50 cents. That thrift store does not get, um, most of my thrift stores don't get very good books. So when I find one, I do pick them up. I picked up one skirt, which is this super fun wrap skirt, which I don't have tied wrapped, but it's got this cheetah print. And the reason I picked this up is because they had it styled with this Walmart No Boundaries brown t-shirt. And I thought, oh my gosh, these together would be so stinking cute. And this brand itself is Urban Romantics. So I think that's just like a brand that they sell at like Ross, Marshalls, those kind of places. But I do thrift brands from Walmart because some stuff from Walmart is getting a little expensive, but 50 cents for this was very nice. It's hard to find. I feel like one of the hardest things for me to find is like plain t-shirts at thrift stores. So whenever I can get one, I pick it up. 
These pants I'm 50-50 on whether or not I'm going to keep them because they're a little bit cropped and I usually don't like wearing kind of cropped pants, but these are old navy quick dry, like outdoorsy pants. I think as long as I wear them with sandals, I call these like um, creek pants, river pants, like something to go when you're in the national park to get in the creek, get in the river. So, would I wear these on a daily basis? No, <laughs> that's not really my vibe, but to have some nice pants that are shorter to get in the creek, that sort of thing, I enjoy that. This shirt's actually quite summery, which is just kind of funny. Um, this is an Eddie Bauer newer short sleeve button down shirt. Hilariously, this was in the men's section and my mom was like, I'm pretty sure this is not a men's shirt. And it's very obviously not. This is too small to be a men's small. And like, you know, you can tell from where the darts are placed. And of course, also you can see men's and women's shirts button on different sides. So this is one of those quick dry vented shirts. I'm holding this up so poorly. Um, but it's got just a beautiful little blue and white dot pattern and another great outdoors shirt for the summer to keep the sun off of my shoulders. I also picked up this little head scarf. I guess I could have put this with the scarves, but this one can only go on your head. It's this lovely little light purple and light pink, but this one comes pre-tied, which I think they sell these on Amazon, which I mean, I've never bought any of them on Amazon, but I'm excited to try this style. I usually just tie it myself and it stays pretty good. So that was exciting. I also got a super fun pair of Old Navy High Rise Go Dry leggings in this lovely dusty cornflower blue color. They're just a cropped. I need more workout wear like I need a hole in the head, but I appreciate them nonetheless. I love the color. I don't have anything similar in that color. So that's gonna be fun. And then I think we'll be getting into the coats which when we first got there, we did not know that the coats were gonna be a dollar and not but gonna be separate from the fill bag sale basically. So my mom went back through and she started finding all these gorgeous coats for me, but we didn't wanna just get like two coats, put them in the bag because that's too, that's kind of expensive, which I get it. When I say it's kind of expensive, I know a lot of other people in other parts of the country do have to pay a lot more for their thrifted items. And I am sorry that you have to pay that much because that really stinks. But for where I live, that's expensive, I guess I, sh I, guess I should say. Um, it totally depends on your area. $2.50 an item to you might be really, like, you know, super duper cheap if you're paying Goodwill prices. But for where I live, $0.50 cents to a dollar is what I deem cheap. So just take when I say it, that with a grain of salt if I think it's too expensive that, you know, it might be in your budget to pay that. So I'm rambling. But... This is another, I got a lot of Eddie Bauer stuff this time, which I'm now realizing it because I've said it so many times, but this gorgeous coat, look how cute this is. Look, I mean, with the zippered pockets, I mean, this is in like brand new shape. I can't believe that somebody donated this unless they grew out of it. Oh, I just now discovered, I think it has one of those zip in hoods. Oh my gosh has a hood that you can pull out of the back. That's amazing. Okay, I didn't realize that until I was showing you that. That makes it even more awesome. Um, Cause you know, if you've got glasses and it starts to rain that you really want a hood that's gonna cover up your glasses. So you don't have to, you know, be blinded when you walk in and you've got water all over you. I can't even imagine how expensive this was, but super stoked about that. Super duper stoked. Um, we have got a, what is this? A new day. I couldn't remember if it was Universal Thread or A New Day. Let me button it really quick because it'll be easier to show. Um, a black knit blazer, which I don't own any blazers. So we'll see. This is like a, this is an out there style for me, but it is quite lovely. And I guess I should say the coats were a dollar, but when we averaged even the coats together with all the other things we got, it was still about 50 cents an item. Because some of the things, there's some things I'm not showing you um, because my mom has them. So like little itty bitty things like scarves and like little tiny accessories that are of course gonna bring the price per item way down. So that um, even though they were technically a dollar price per item averaged was 50 cents. So I then got this other gorgeous coat. I think this is also a new day. Yep, also a new day. 
which is so fun because I don't ever, I can't imagine, I can't even remember the last time I've been in a Target. I don't like going to Target, which I know a lot of people on the internet love Target. I really don't care for it. I think it's too expensive and everything that I can get there, I could get at Walmart. Um, so I don't go there for anything else or for like, I could get it at the regular grocery store, but I digress. This gorgeous pink rose gold detailed like faux, faux suede moto jacket y'all this looks so cute on i love it and it it's machine washable i wash everything's been washed already so this is all survived the washing machine and even though it looks like something that you'd have to dry clean just read the tags so that was oh, incredible i cannot wait to wear this next fall and all of this stuff you might think like if you're not a regular thrifter you might be like oh well, i'm not gonna want to wear that you know I'm not going to want to buy that now. I want to buy things for in season that I can wear now. But when you pull this stuff back out, it'll still be brand new to you because you didn't wear it last year. And then I picked up, I don't think I've ever had anything from Zara, but this is a Zara coat. I don't live, I don't live near any major cities. So we don't have a Zara. I don't, I've never lived, I think somewhere that's had a Zara. So this is lovely. This big green puffy jacket, which Honestly, it looks a lot better on than it does with me just holding it up. So just trust that it really like cinches you in and gives you that nice hourglass shape, which you usually lose when you've got this big outerwear on. And it's super fun, very warm, very, very excited for that. Love the gold tone zipper detailing and all of that. So that's everything. I got a lot of beautiful stuff for next winter, which I'm very excited about and a few things to actually, you know, wear now. So that is my haul. If you enjoy these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If your thrift stores have been kind of dry, I feel like this is the first like bigger haul that I've had in a while. And I think part of it is that they're just, this thrift store was just trying to push out all of these coats because they don't carry these huge coats. If you saw the lights flicker, it's because we are having a windstorm outside right now. So don't think that's anything spooky, but like I said, they're trying to push these coats out so they can pull out all their new spring stuff and I don't blame them. And so, um, like I said, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.